Hi, I'm Joe Washington. Welcome to IBM TV. In today's IT environment, the challenges come at you pretty fast. You need a way to store, manage, and deliver information. But the right information is elusive. Challenges in terms of the complexity of their processes and their underlying infrastructures. You want a fully integrated system? A system like that does not exist. Challenges in the constant change associated with the market, the business requirements, and change within the infrastructure itself. Lack of integration. Disparate systems take services across the organization, aggregate them together, and deploy adaptable business processes. You need something quick, and you need to get it out there, and you need to show the value to, to whoever's asking for that functionality. Don't let me down, Smith. To stay ahead, you need innovative answers that include the right software, hardware, and services. This time on IBM TV, you'll see how we've expanded our focus to include these elements and help you develop effective IT solutions. You'll notice an enhanced navigation. Check out the Select a Topic menu. Now you can access multimedia resources for systems and storage as well as software. You'll also see new categories that focus on key IT goals. We'll take a closer look at solutions in these areas. But first, I want to show you another way IBM TV is growing that's sure to make an impact. Tune in to IBM TV Impact 2007. It's a new IBM TV premium channel that delivers resources, tools, and information to help you succeed with service-oriented architecture, or SOA, and create greater business flexibility. If you missed the Impact 2007 event, don't miss the virtual experience through this new channel. Today, IT and business are more interdependent than ever and new IBM governance and risk management solutions can help you align IT resources with business strategy while you manage risk. It's what IBM governance and risk management solutions are all about. What is IT governance and risk management? IT governance is an integral part of corporate governance and it consists of leadership, organizational structures and processes that ensure IT sustains and extends business strategies and objectives. Risk management is about balancing between realizing opportunities for gains while minimizing vulnerabilities and losses. It is the balance of IT governance and risk management that enables the CIO and the IT organization to become a strategic partner in business growth. Hear more from Susan Blocker here on IBM TV. She takes you through solutions for aligning business requirements with IT investments and discusses how service management enables better IT governance to help create and manage value. And don't miss an interview from CMP Media with IBM General Managers Al Zoller, Danny Saba, and Val Romani. It's an excellent opportunity to learn from IBM leadership as they discuss how you can put effective IT governance and risk management practices to work for your organization. Now, let's move from service and risk management to managing and leveraging your data and information. For many businesses, success means change, growth, expansion, and one of the inevitable byproducts of this exciting and dynamic experience is the accumulation of data, massive amounts of data. But despite the importance of utilizing this data, many companies still choose to store their data in something that works like this. Do you want to try to find something in here? I don't, and neither do IT departments and users. The trouble with storing ever-expanding amounts of data is just that. You're only storing it when you could be leveraging it to improve performance. IBM Dynamic Warehousing can help you really put your information to work. Watch the rest of this video here on IBM TV to get more details. Another way to leverage your information is to get registered for the IBM Information on Demand 2007 Global Conference. You can take it from me, literally. 
Hello and welcome to IBM Information On Demand 2007 Global Conference. Have you taken advantage of the early early bird registration offer yet? Hurry, because it ends May 31st and it's an offer you cannot afford to miss. This special price saves you $400 off the conference pass, giving you an unheard of price of $1,595. Do not let this offer pass you by. Sponsorship positions are still available, but you have to act fast. Many top positions were taken before we left IBM Information On Demand 2006 in Anaheim, California. So plan your conference strategy and register today. We look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. That's right, and if you miss the early, early bird special, you can still save $200 by registering by August 15th. A 2006 survey by CIO Research concluded that CIOs see reducing costs and enabling business innovation as the two most important ways to impact the enterprise. It's a delicate balance between efficiency and innovation, but it does exist. My consultant says a system like that does not exist. It's virus resistant because items are tagged either data or programs as soon as they enter the system. It's so easy, it's hard to believe, but the system I works. It's letting me do my business instead of burying me in technical problems. Do our consultants know about this? They certainly do. Watch the entire It Exists video here on IBM TV. It will show you how IBM System I Express can help you optimize IT with a fully integrated platform that helps small and mid-sized businesses spend more time managing their business, not their IT. Meeting today's IT challenges means continuously developing innovative approaches and solutions. SOA is a new approach that promises greater business flexibility, but adopting new approaches may also bring new challenges. What comes with this whole notion of a service-oriented architecture is the need to better manage a geographically diverse environment. Not only are people that are delivering services in different buildings, in different countries, in different time zones, but perhaps you're outsourcing or offshoring different elements of it, and you have business partners that are helping you. It's real important that that whole set of uh, activities across the life cycle are well managed. Thus the importance of integrating your SOA governance model with service lifecycle management. Tune into the rest of Scott's talk to see how SOA lifecycle management solutions can improve service quality and help you make SOA a success. Agile development is another innovative approach gaining ground in IT. Don't miss a new video with Scott Ambler, who's the IBM Agile Development Practice Leader. He points out how IBM can help with your Agile development efforts. Now, when most people think about IT, they think about software code, servers, and other technologies. It's easy to forget that IT is really about helping people, the users of technology. Portals represent the interface between people and technology. IBM recently announced a single simplified WebSphere portal offering with enhanced Web 2.0 tooling and a set of business-ready packages or accelerators. These accelerators address specific business problems and can simplify the implementation of customized solutions on a single portal platform. You can access a demo of the accelerators here on IBM TV. That's all for this time. From now on, when you're facing tough IT challenges, you know where to look for solutions, right here on IBM TV. I'm Joe Washington. I'll see you next time.